When bars closed in March, the fire department went to bars making sure they weren't conducting business. When bars opened back up, agents from the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, along with the El Paso police, went bar to bar making sure they were following the guidelines set forth by the governor. During this initial phase of enforcement over the weekend, TABC agents uh, visited nearly 600 bars and restaurants across the state. TABC spokesperson Chris Porter tells ABC7 agents are now taking a different approach from the previous knock and check method. So these are undercover operations. So the goal is that the, the business owners, if there isn't a violation, they won't know that we're in the building. Porter tells us exactly what the agents are looking for. Situations where there's an obvious uh, violation of social, dis social distancing rules. And so that could be things like crowded dance floors. It could be a, a crowd around a bar top trying to place orders, which, which currently is not allowed. Additionally, we're looking at situations where the bar or restaurant might have violated their capacity limits. The TABC visited nearly 600 bars or restaurants across the state and 17 were found in violation, including work in Coconuts Bar in El Paso. And there's no first offense or second offense warning. Under the governor's executive orders, the first offense is, uh, is uh, punishable by a 30-day suspension of the permit to sell alcohol. Porter says the TABC spent six weeks at the beginning of May before the reopening to educate bar owners and restaurants about the new requirements. What this last weekend's operations represent is really the, the transition to a more enforcement focused phase to really just, again, help get the word out. Uh, this is what the potential consequences are if there is a violation. Jerry Najera, ABC7.